Hey there, everyone. So I have not been on YouTube for a while. I apologize. Life gets in the way. <laughs> and these are the latest florals I'm working on. And one of the tips I have learned now, these were um, hibiscus blooming in my backyard that I was studying and they are, they hang upside down. And I was trying to get the inside of them, but they were just hanging upside down. And I realized when it's a, a lantern-like flower that hangs, the outside, the backside is more dramatic in color to draw attention to the pollinators to come over. They have to search more, they have to go under but that's what happens. So anyway, so what I'll do is I find a color for the background and play around with lights and darks first so that it's not a flat background. I like illuminating light. And then I do a modern interpretation where along the way I add vine charcoal and neo crayons. Any, any brand, I'm not, you know, here to, to say what brand, but any brand of vine charcoal, I just happen to get that on Amazon. Um, so what I do to make my work looser, I tend to have a tendency to tighten up as I go, and I want my painting to look more like it's moving. So... In the finishing stages here, I'll loosen it up with a little bit of line here and there. And then if I like what I've done with the vine charcoal, I will use a, a glaze on top of it to seal it, or I can smudge it. And I can just make it a shadow and I can brush it with glaze to smudge it. Or I can just squirt it with water and it'll just come right back off. Or I can drip it. Same with the neocrayons. Okay, so for example, here's a red. It doesn't have to be the exact red. Um, let's use the fuchsia. Okay. So what I'll do, um, mess up. It's like you're messing up your painting a little. So I just go ahead and make some more squiggly lines. And it looks like the breeze, it just gives it a, a look like it's moving. Your flower. And then I'll have some drips with paint or with neo crayons. And I like to have a little bit of a horizontal line design and vertical, just a little bit to emphasize a little geometric in there because there's so much organic flow in this and organic shape. It's just a little bit gives it a little modern edge. I really love doing that. And you can see with this white neo crayon here and yellow, I just went right over because there's a light in the background and I just took this as, as, as if the light is hitting it, but also the design is hitting it. So that is another tip. So um, again, there's just a, a few tips. If you, like me, tend to start out trying to make a loose painting and you get a little tight along the way, some besides dripping, you just can take your um, paint or your neo crayons or vine charcoal and just come out away from your work. Just have your lines Kind of bounce around and bounce off of it. So if I was to freeze frame a video, freeze frame, 
it, that a video in motion, you would see this fast blur. So if you blur some of the edges, it looks like the wind might be moving the flowers. And you can see up here, it really looks like it's moving. And then I went back in and instead of doing the whole line perfectly, I just worked hard to try to get that line fraying out. And I'm almost done. Of course, you can see here, maybe I can do the same here a little more. I haven't tried that. I mean, basically I could be done right now and exhibit these in one of the art festivals I do. Or I could play around. The danger is playing around too much until you just get too busy. So I should stop, I think. Let me know what you think.